Hi gorgeous, it's been a rough few days, a rough few days indeed. For those of you who don't know, I was in hospital, I accidentally took too many of my prescription painkiller medication, um, pills that I got from the doctor, and I accidentally poisoned my liver, and I had to be, uh, be in hospital for uh, a few days, linked up to a drip that had an antidote in it to try and undo all the damage I'd done to my liver and it was a whole big long thing. There's a video about it um, on my lifestyle channel that is down in the description. It's either up or it's about to go up. But if you want to hear all about that fiasco then you can just go over to there and watch that. But I, 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 I'm traumatized enough by it so I do just want to move on, sit down, chat with you guys and do something fun. But something that's not too much because I am absolutely drained. I don't know if you can see it in my face or hear it in my voice but I am absolutely drained so today I just want to take it easy just do something fun just me and you and I thought this is a perfect time to test out the new Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss lip products so this is what I'm talking about so Charlotte Tilbury has a new lip product it is called Happy Kiss I think it's called the Happy Kiss Oh, no, I made that up. <laughs> uh, one of them is called Happy Kiss. Um, these, so these are just uh, basically, it's a mashup between a lipstick and a lip balm. So they look like a lipstick, but they perform like a lip balm. They're very hydrating and nourishing for the lips. They come in, oh God, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shades. That is quite a, a wide range. Uh, I managed to get nine of them from the Charlotte Tilbury website. One of them had sold out and I had to get the other one from Cult Beauty. So I have the full collection. Just going to swatch them on my hand, try them out on my lips so we can all get a feel of what they're like. I've tried two of them and they are really, really nice. But I thought, let's sit down, try them properly on camera for you guys. And hopefully we can just have a nice time. Okay, first up we have Happy Peach. Let's have a look. So the component on this, it's quite, it's quite plain actually. It is actually very, very plain. And then when you open it up, it, it looks quite cheap, to be honest with you. It looks very cheap, very tacky, not Charlotte Tilbury's usual MO, you know? But here is the first color, can you see that? A nice peach and the idea is that you twist the bottom here and it just slowly clicks the product up to the top of the tube so you don't twist it too far because you don't want to use too much of it uh, let's see what she looks like oh oh, this one's quite bitty can you see that the other two that I've tried out have been really good but this one's really chunky oh okay I don't, I don't like that can you see that it looks quite quite like chunky on the on the end there the color is nice though okay let's try it out on the lips see what we think i need a little mirror okay it's a lot smoother and creamier on the lips than it was my hand It's really nice, but that, that's probably not my kind of color. It's it's a bit too bright for my skin tone. I'm quite pale, so bright colors really do wash me out, but it is really nice. Feels really nice. Looks really nice. It looks like a gloss. It doesn't feel like a gloss though. It's not sticky. Just feels like a really nice hydrating lip balm, to be honest, which is what the idea of it was so it, is, it does feel really nice okay let's take this off and move on my lips are going to be so mad at me after doing this 10, ten times <laughs> okay right the next shade is happy berry so that's the shade there quite deep might be too deep for me okay on the hand 
Yeah, they're coming out really chunky and patchy on my hand, but on my lips they're fine. So I'm gonna give the hand swatches a miss because obviously that's just not giving a true representation of the actual product. That's just how some makeup is. Sometimes you see people swatching stuff on their hand and it looks gorgeous and then you try it on like the actual part of you it's meant to work on. It doesn't look as nice and then sometimes vice versa. Because at the end of the day, makeup is meant to go on, you know, selected areas of the face, not on the back of your hand or your arm. So sometimes swatches just don't work. So I'm just gonna put these straight onto the lips now. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, wow, you get a lot of color payoff with these, like, wow, wow. I mean, it's a little bit patchy in areas, but I think that is something, I think that's a me thing, because this is a very different product to anything I've ever tried before. I think it's a product that just needs a bit of practice with application, but this is like really, really cute. Yeah, I do like it, it is really nice. Okay, let's try the next one. It looks like these might stain your lips a little bit, so do be careful when using them. Okay, the next shade is Happy Love. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's very pretty. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, this colour is much more my speed. A lot softer, a lot cuter, a lot more delicate. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I really like this one so far. Okay, Happy Love is my favourite one so far. Really makes the lips look really plump as well, don't you think? Mm. Okay. Okay. It's absolutely freezing, you guys, at the moment in Dublin. We haven't got any snow. Well, it's been snowing on and off all day but nothing settling. And I don't know why it's not settling because it is absolutely freezing here. Okay, next one. This is Passion Kiss. Okay. I think this one might be a bit too brown for me, but we shall see. They're a lot creamier than I thought they'd be. However, I will say it's really hard to control the application because look how messy it gets as you're putting it on, you know? It's very hard to control where the product goes. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. It might be slightly too dark for me. I might have to, if I wear this, you know, warm up the face with like, a bit more of an intense uh, bronzer and blush, but it is cute. Like, I wonder if it would be. A, 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 a. <laughs> I wonder if it would be better maybe to apply this with like a lip brush. I'm gonna try that on the next one. My lips are already sore from doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the next one with a lip brush. This is a Morphe M124. The next lippy is Pillow Talk, an iconic staple of the Charlotte Tilbury world. Pillow Talk is everything, okay? So this is a shade, it's the classic Pillow Talk berry shade. And let's just try applying to the brush, then to the lips. Okay, when you do it this way, it comes out a lot sheerer. It 
Okay, no, lip brush is not the way to go because the product just does not want to pick up. Off we go. Okay, this, this shade is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, this and Happy Love, right up there, two absolute favorites. This is stunning. Okay, yep, I love that. Okay, we are halfway there. The next one is Happy Coral. Oh, okay, I wouldn't say this is a coral color, to be fair. Like, would you guys say that was a coral shade? Because I would not. I'd say that's like a, I'd say that's too red to be coral, but it might look different on the lips, so let's see. This, sh this one is really patchy. I like that. I wouldn't say it's coral though. That's more like, I'd say it's more of a cherry red, to be honest, than a coral. Coral to me is more like peachy orange. You know, and this is a bit, this is quite more red toned than orange toned, but I really like it. It's a very fun color. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay, next we have Enchanting Kiss. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a contender because that is so pretty. Oh yeah, that's stunning. Yeah, that is absolutely stunning. Yeah, that's definitely my shade. Oh yeah, I can see this being like an everyday thing. That's so pretty. I just wish it was easier to apply. Like the component makes it so difficult to apply and to get it neat. Like I'm not doing, <laughs> like I'm not trying to do the neatest job ever because I just want to like try them out and see what they look like. You know, this isn't how I'd apply makeup on myself or a client, you know, for um, a night out or anything. But I wish it was easier to apply. Okay, next up we have Happy Petal. Yes, this one I have already tried. This is the one that I uh, tried first off. So you can see it's a little bit messy there. And this is just from one use. So after one use, they, they get really messy really, really quickly, which is... You know, for a luxury brand, that's not what you want at all. I can't remember if I liked this one or not. This is what I was wearing the night I went uh, into hospital when um, the ambulance come and got me. So I don't actually really remember if I like this or not because like other things on my mind. So let's just refresh the memory now, shall we? cute okay yeah that's really cute well at least I know that I went to hospital looking adorable because <laughs> heaven forbid I go in an ambulance looking like Hagrid it's a very fun color yeah I like that I do I like that I like it a lot Okie dokie, we have two left. So this one is Crystal Happy Kiss. Now this one I have tried as well. I was wearing this one today. It is absolutely gorgeous. I will show it to you now. It's so pale that it's almost just like a clear 
Gloss. So pretty. Oh, I didn't even show you, did I? Oh my god. My brain hasn't been right since I got out of hospital, honestly. But yeah, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's almost just like a, like a clear gloss. It's so gorgeous, so subtle. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, and last but not least, we have Romance Kiss. So this is a, again, it's a kind of berry red. Don't think this one's gonna suit me, but we will try it. My lips, they were feeling sore from, from having to like wipe the product off, but I think with the amount of product I put on and with how moisturizing it is, my lips are actually starting to feel really nice now. <laughs> Ah, uh, swings and roundabouts. Okay, the colour that comes out really does not reflect the colour that's in the tube at all. In the tube it comes out a lot darker. I mean, it's cute, but it's certainly not something I would reach for every day. It's definitely not a me shade. I like, you know, much more subtle, muted berry tones, you know, but it is really, really cute. So I'll give it points for that. Okay, so that is all 10 of the new Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss Shades Swatch. That's not their name. What is their name? Right, I have to look it up because it's going to annoy the absolute heck out of me. Talk amongst yourselves while I look. It is called the Happy Kiss. It is. It's called the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. See? I have got brains after all. So I've swatched all 10 on my lips. My top three favourites are Pillow Talk, Happy Love and Crystal Kiss. Those are kind of more me shades. They're kind of the shades that I would go to every day. There are some others that I really liked that were more kind of like fun going out shades, but these shades are the ones that I would, uh, I'd, I'd be much more likely to use them in my day to day. So these do retail for 32 euros each of what you get. It, it is expensive, but it's expensive in the realms of luxury makeup, in the realms of Charlotte Tilbury. So for what it is, for the brand, it's, it's, I think it's reasonable. It's expensive, but it's reasonable expensive, if that makes any kind of sense to you at all. And if it doesn't, I don't blame you, because I'm just not making much sense today at all, so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, that is it for the review part of this video. So now we are going to go into my favorite part of the video, which is where I announce the giveaway winner. So the winner of last video's giveaway is... Quiva McGrath, congratulations, my love. You are the winner of a mystery box of makeup. I will get this sent out to you ASAP. Just make sure you contact me via any of my socials linked down below. Hi, yeah, it's me again. Um, Laura, congratulations, you know, for actually remembering to announce the giveaway. That's amazing that you remember to do that. So like, well done you, but you announced the wrong giveaway, okay? <laughs> like, what are you doing? What's wrong with your brain? <laughs> sort it out. So I've just, you know, taken a break from relaxing in my uh to let you know and let the the viewers know that it's not a mystery box makeup giveaway no we finished the mystery box makeup giveaways today this video is the giveaway supreme because in this video we are giving away the jeffree star x shane dawson conspiracy palette and the jeffree star x dawson jeffree Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson the gloss. So this is what you would actually win in the giveaway, not a mystery box prize. So just so you know, there you go. Okay, Laura, back to you. Now you were doing a great job, apart from when you messed everything up and said the wrong, apart from that, you did a great job. So well done, back to you, bye, bye.
Bye. If you did not win, have no fear. There are more things up for grabs. All you have to do to be entered is like this video, subscribe, ring that bell, and leave me a comment below telling me which one of these was your favorites. And that is it, you are entered. I open it internationally. I'll ship to you anywhere. Why not give it a try? You never know, you might win. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching me. I had fun, it really kind of cheered me up, it got me out of that negative headspace that I've been in because of the traumatic events of the last few days. So thank you for sitting with me, thank you for chilling out with me, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. I love your guts. Bye guys.